Hi guys, welcome everybody. So in the previous video we have seen, in the previous two videos we have seen that uh, how can we create our own class and uh, how can we create our own objects of that particular class, right? Now in this video I'll tell you how can we create a specific method means uh, for example you know a class list right you know a class tuple each class has a specific uh, specific set of methods for example uh, we have a pop method or a pend method which do a special type of functionality for a class list similarly uh, how can we create a same kind of method for our own class we'll see this in video so uh, let's get started with this video So, uh, for example, I have a list name L first and I have 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5. This is my list. Simply, if I do pop, what it will be is it, it just uh, eliminate the last element of my uh, list. And if I print then this my list, you see it, it will give me only 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Similarly, if I go for L dot, it will, uh, this pop method will do the same functionality for each kind of class, each kind of, uh, each kind of list. Similarly, if I do L dot append, you see, and I want to append, let's say, oil. And now if I print my L, list L, so as you see, it should give me the oil appended at the last, right? So this is what a method is. So let us uh, see how can we create our own methods for our own class. So, uh, right, so we have created this uh, uh, class reservoir in the previous video. I just copied the code from there only. So I have diff I have just executed this here, and let's say I have uh, my object for this reservoir uh, class that is res underscore a, and my object is 0 0.41 is porosity. Let's say 50 is milli my milli 50 millidars is my permeability, and 3200 is my depth. So this is my object of class reservoir, right? object of class reservoir so let's say now what i want to do is now i want to create a method for my class which describes the properties of reservoir in a nice manner what i mean is i just simply want whenever i call that specific method uh, it just prints me a nice uh, statement let's say for example uh, the porosity of this reservoir is 41 percent and permeability is 50 millidar 50 millidar c and this uh, reservoir is located at the depth of 3200 so this is what i want to print down whenever i call that method so let us uh, create another class uh, i am creating i can do the same i can do this uh, in in this very class but i will tell you why i am doing this uh, in a different class i just want to show the difference between both of the classes so i let's say this my class is reservoir underscore two that's it i just changed the name of my class everything else is same because uh, just for the comparison i'm doing this now whenever you want to create a method what you do is uh, you go out of this function first that is init method now you define your method so my define uh, my method name is let's say describe is my method name and the method will again always takes the value of self that is the object representation so now uh, if what i want to return from this uh, method is i want i just want to return uh, that I'll use string formatting porosity of this reservoir is my self dot porosity and permeability is self dot permeability And afterwards i'll write milli darcy and here i'll do what i'll do is i'll add in 200 and i'll just do here percentage right and then what, once again i want to do is uh, the depth of this reservoir just a second or i would write this reservoir is located at the depth of what is my depth my depth will be self dot depth of reservoir right so uh, this is how i have my uh, whenever uh, i have created a method describe 
now i'll just execute this cell now what you do is let's say i want to create a object for my reservoir 2 class now my object let's say reservoir b and my res vori vir underscore 2 because i want to create object for my class reservoir 2 not a class reservoir and let's say this have the permeability of uh, I, i'll use the same values i'll use the same values of reservoir a so 0 0.41 is the same porosity and 50 and my 3200 is my this one right i'll just for a better comparison what i'll do is right so my object reservoir a is uh, from class reservoir my object reservoir b is from class reservoir underscore 2 so let's see first let's see that if both of them are work uh, working fine or not so let's say i just want to print my uh, reservoirs a porosity so i poro city it is working fine and reservoir b let's say so yes they are working pretty fine right now whenever I, wa uh, I want to call the function describe first let me call the my function a method describe of in my object reservoir a so how you call a method is you just simply write reservoir a dot method name right this is how we have used all the methods right you just write uh, for example here what we did was that we write l dot pop so it was nothing but l was an object right of our class list so object uh, object dot method name and then parenthesis now here no need to write uh, the self again because it will automatically understand that this self stands for this reservoir a res underscore a now if i do this this will give me an error because it says it says that reservoir object has no attribute described so it means this class reservoir uh, object has no attribute described because i have this i have used this method i have made this method describe for my class reservoir underscore two not for my class reservoir right so that is why it is giving me error but now whenever i do this uh, i'll again do this in next cell and this time what i have done is instead of reservoir i'm using res underscore b because this this object reservoir underscore b belongs to my class reservoir underscore two where i have used the method which where i have defined this method describe so this will not show me an error this will give me a nice result so you see this is giving me the result that porosity of this reservoir is 41 percent and permeability is 50 milli this reservoir is located at the depth of 3200 so uh, it will apply to any any object which i do it for uh, for my class reservoir 2 so let's say my have another object res underscore c reservoir c and my class name is reservoir underscore 2 and this time let's say 0.14 is the point 2 is the milli darcy of oh, sorry porosity and uh, 89 milli darcy is my permeability and uh, my depth is let's say 2500 now if i say res underscore c dot describe so you see it is giving me that my 20 percent permeability is 89 milli darcy and this is my depth right so this is how you create your own method now first of all uh, now one important point is uh, important point there is that let us see that how these methods work in reality right so uh, even if i write even if i want to get the same result i can write it in a way like this i'll simply write my class name so my class name is reservoir underscore two and then you write your method name what is my method name method name is describe and then here inside this parenthesis you write your uh, write your object name so my object name is res underscore c now you see that dot describe this is the nothing but the self you can see this dot method name and inside this self that is object that is why we use object here that is that is why you self here so this is the importance of self even if i even if i execute this soul uh, this code it will give me the same results although this is a bigger method but i just want to tell you that this is how the code works in back end when we write it as a simple method that is just you can simply write object name and then dot method right so uh, you can also uh, get it uh, let's say i have another list a and this list is one 
comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 again and even if i write a dot pop so even if i now print a you see the 5 has been removed right so now if i want to remove 4 you can simply again write a dot pop it will remove the 4 right but let us do it by uh, this method so my class name in this will be nothing but list is my class here right so list is my class my uh, method name is pop and what is my object name my object name is a right now if i execute this cell so you see it is giving me that 4 will be eliminated now if i print my a you see it works fine so this is how it works in backend whenever we write it in uh, this way although this one is easier and yes use that only but i just wanted to point out that this is how it works great now uh, one more thing you can uh, have a question with that sir uh, let's say i want to use append method but in append you don't write simply like that which means you will not write a dot sorry you'll not write it like that that uh, a dot append and then you will call the function you'll have to give some give some input here right you'll have to give some input here inside what you want to append so how that works so that works that what you can do is uh, i just want to let's say i want to append uh, in the same list a what i'll do is i write my list name list uh, sorry class name that is list my method name append then the object name right my object name is a then after you after that you write just uh, after the comma you write whatever you want to give the input let's say i want to add oil here right now if i print my a you see my oil has been appended so this is how it works in reality and now this is nothing but uh, this is nothing but a is representing self and uh, oil is my nothing but another attribute let's say attribute one here so this will work if this will uh, to create this kind of function you will have will, what you have to do is uh, now with the self you just write your attribute one here so this works like that okay uh, i hope i'm i have made myself very clear about what i wanted to convey to you so uh, i have an assignment for you as well what you want to, uh, what you need to do is that uh, you just create a class scores with attributes of a uh, different subject a uh, score which takes which takes attributes of uh, scores of different subjects it may be reservoir drilling production any subject you want then create a method which calculates the average of all the subject scores right and then create another method which gives you maximum score out of three it is very simple try by yourself and i'll see you in the next video thank you for joining guys